Hi my friends and welcome to Bexit the Rock Diary. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the myths of manifestation and this is very um, yeah a very very interesting topic I think and I'm in the middle of discovering something so it's very very interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you soon why I haven't really prepared for this but um, yeah before I tell you my excuse um, I just want to let you know that if you're watching this and you've got any questions then please write them in the comments or um, if you want to write me a private, private message then do that on uh, Bexit on uh, my uh, artist page here on Facebook and please not uh, on my private profile. Okay, so um, manifestation. So there are two ways how we can manifest things and this is by resistance or by our wishes and most of the time we're doing this actually we're doing this all day and it's a subconscious thing that is happening all the time and we don't even know so this way we uh, we are not sure if our wishes or our resistance creates our surroundings and to find that out we have to really watch our surroundings and see what's inside of us so there are a couple of um, myths when it's about manifestation and um, actually I think there are three ways to manifest um, or three ways how people try to manifest and I'm gonna tell you now why those ways are not working. So the first way is actually what nearly all of us have been taught by our parents. Um, and by our family and especially by people yeah who haven't um, who haven't really been interested in their spiritual pathway um, down-to-earth people let's say that yeah so this way uh, is called you work to get something yeah and I mean it's not wrong um, if you want to reach something you have to set your goals you have to put your actions into it and this way you can of course reach things but what those people always forget and I know many people who wonder why they're working so much and they're working every day and they are totally exhausted and they still don't reach their goals because all of the time something else is happening or um, a sudden a situation is occurring or um, I don't know illness death uh, something's always coming in the way and this is because those people forgot to put their mind into it so you can work as long as you want um, if you believe that you're not worth it to earn a lot of money for example or if you're not that you can't reach your goals because you're not good enough you can try and try and try and you won't reach it so it never works if you only go on this action level okay and the next thing how some people try to manifest is um, just with their mind so they always try to tell themselves I'm rich I'm healthy have you actually seen uh, no, probably English-speaking people <laughs> haven't been watching this but there's this funny guy in uh, in America somewhere he's uh, a mind trainer yeah and he always says I am healthy yeah I am full of energy <laughs> yeah so this is the other way way how people try to manifest things and um, they just keep telling themselves that they already have what they have but it doesn't mean that this here that you actually believe this yeah um, someone can tell you a thousand times I'm rich I'm rich I'm rich but then you look in your wallet and you see that you are not rich <laughs> yeah so um, this is a way people really keep lying to themselves and they think they're doing something good but in the end they're making the, this feeling here even stronger because every time they hear the sentence in their mind I'm rich I'm rich I'm rich this things no I'm not I'm not I'm not <laughs> you know so um, the third way how to actually manifest something is feeling and I to me feeling means that this and this and all of that together that is the true feeling so I don't mean emotion I don't mean thinking I mean that you really have to feel it so 
I bet you know many people who uh, um, give courses about manifestation and um, I think this is something that's very often forgotten that when you want to manifest something that you really have to believe it you know you believe it a hundred percent and if you look at this pen for example I believe yeah for a hundred percent that it's there and if it wouldn't be there would always be this little doubt so um, the teachings about manifestations um, they very often say that everything already exists yeah in another level in another dimension that your past your future that everything is there and you have actually uh, you have to attract attract something into your life so when i say that this pen is manifested yeah and if the pen wouldn't be here it doesn't mean it's not manifested but something that we really want to learn is to manifest something into our here and now into our reality now because i mean what sense does it make if this Rebecca in a parallel universe? And, <laughs> I mean, it, it must be nice for Rebecca if in another parallel universe she uh, manifests something. It's, it is nice. Hi, Dominic. It is, it's actually a great thing. But when we uh, want to learn to manifest, we want to manifest into our here and now. Yeah. Um, so something else that I see very often um, is as I just said, is uh, either um, it's yeah parents, older people or our community who says you have to work hard and then they don't. Yes, Dominic, we need all three stages. Um, yeah, some people believe that uh, you only have to work hard, but then there are some other people, um, very often they're spiritual people or they, they say that they're spiritual people and they manifest something and then they totally lean back and they, um, yeah, and they, they wait for it. And I'm not saying that this is wrong because if you are able to trust for a hundred percent that it's going to come into your life, actually the only thing you have to do is wait for it to happen because, um, I mean, it can sometimes take a little bit longer in our material world for things to manifest. If you're really, really, really good, you can manifest it within one second, yeah? But um, it, it is enough to trust. But something that I see very often with people is that they're not at all honest to themselves, yeah? They um, think they are a lot of steps ahead um, compared to other people and they think I manifest something and then it's just going to happen to me and everyone around can see that it's not going to happen because most people are not honest where they are at what stage they are so as I just said before if you're really really honestly trusting 100% you actually don't have to do anything but most of us are not 100% there yet they still have to get used to it you know, your whole life you haven't been doing this stuff and then you have to use it step by step and um, you have to learn it again. Yeah. And it, it's not nothing bad about it. It doesn't mean that you're uh, you're not very spiritual or whatever. It just means that you I mean, when you learn to ride your bike, you also have to use the pedals first or get to know how to use the pedals first. So when you're starting to manifest, you can make things a little bit easier for you. So when you manifest something and you also make sure that as much as possible, the reality supports you in this here yeah? or your, your everyday life supports you in this, then you create this feeling more often and you, it's easier for you to believe, you know, as I said before, when you say I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, and you look in your wallet and you see I'm not. So someone who is really, really far, he can immediately integrate this. Yeah. But someone who's still learning, as soon as he looks in his wallet, he won't believe anymore that he's rich. You know, I hope, I hope it's still understandable what I try to say. So, um, yeah, now I come to my excuse why I didn't prepare myself <laughs> for this video. So normally I always, I'm always very prepared. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, before I make a video, I sit down and I read and I write down what I want to say and I try to, to learn it a little bit, okay? But this time I didn't because at the moment I'm re really uh, experimenting with this a lot. And um, I've got a, a huge problem at the moment with um, time, yeah? Not at the moment, my whole life, actually. <laughs> it's uh, being on time, yeah? Um, not forgetting the time. Um, so this whole time thing is very interesting for me, yeah? I want to do as much as possible in a short time. I very often have the feeling I don't have enough time. So I sat down and I really manifested for myself, there is more than enough time, you know? And I really do believe this because I know that we don't only have this life. Um, I know that in some other spheres, time doesn't even exist in the way it's existing here, yeah? So I, c I can really, really strongly believe that there is more than enough time. It's, uh, it's not so difficult. But then I tend to get into situations again where I have to run to an appointment. I, uh, you know, now my hair is still wet. I'm not ready, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, so, so last week um, I started an experiment um, I should have done a long time ago because I thought I manifested this. So why don't I have more time? Yeah. And um, I kept getting into these situations where I was still late. And I really tried that experiment to, um, to always leave twice, uh, twice as early as I would normally have to leave. So if I have to be somewhere at three and I need to drive one hour, I wouldn't leave at two, but I would leave at one. Yeah. Um, for some people this might sound very normal a very normal thing to do yeah but for me this is a very very special and it's a big experiment <laughs> because yeah I just want to have as much time as possible before I have to leave the house I don't know it's it's really weird but I found that last week um this feeling of having enough time you know when I had an appointment um I've been there one hour early so I sat in my car and I didn't know what to do I went out and had a coffee or I was working on my to-do list and I had this spare time out of nothing where I could really you know do something that I wanted to do at this moment this is a total new feeling for me normally the whole day is planned and packed but now I had one hour to myself because I just arrived way too early so um yeah so this I've done this now for a week and it changed something about all of me yeah um and today i wanted to do it the old way <laughs> yeah so i really thought oh no i'm gonna manage this you know <laughs> no no i can do that later i can do that later and i just wanted to compare these two things so now you could say what does this have to do with manifesting so i believe that especially when you're starting or especially when it's topics that you are not 100 percent sure of yourself yet yeah um then it's not bad at all yeah most of us find our spiritual pathway uh in the middle of our lives yeah most of us uh have been living a totally different life before and we've done so much wrong yeah in our lives so many things that we would do different now and um you know we lost the trust in ourselves yeah because um in the past, as for me, in the past, I've always yeah made appointments that I didn't keep. I made promises I didn't keep. I thought, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do, do that. And I never did it. Yeah. And these are all things that are still, you know, there's still a weight on my shoulders and they're still there. And it's totally not bad. But for people who also had a past like this, it's way easier if you try to create your reality um, the way it fist, fits to your manifestation. So if I now for months and years every day have the feeling I've got more than enough time, of course my manifestation is going to work even better. Yeah. So um, if I every day go out and I'm late and I don't get up early enough, 
and I don't plan enough time, I will always get this feeling that I don't have enough time. And it makes it harder for my manifestation to work. Yeah. This is something that I wanted to share with you today. And thank you very much for, uh, for watching. And I really hope you understood what I was trying to tell you. Um, as I said, normally I try to structure it before, but today I didn't have enough time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just let me know what you think. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.